Hey guys, so today I am doing a first impressions video. I have some products that are new and some products that are just new to me that I'm going to be trying out for the first time today to achieve this look right here. If you guys enjoy watching these tutorials and watching first impressions, let me know in those comments below and let's get into this look. So today for primer, I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I just got a little packet of it and something that I had bought. So it is more silicone foundation, but I really like the way it's making my face feel. Normally I don't go for these kinds of primers. They tend to make the dry spots on my face stand up more, whereas more moisturizing primers uh, moisturize my face. So I normally like those a lot better. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is the first time that I've used this. And I saw a lot of people talking about it. I think the first person I saw talking about it was Kathleen Lights. So I wanted to pick it up. I did get it on Amazon, I think, for about $10. And I got it in the shade Fair. And Fair is still too dark for me. And which is weird because everything that I normally get, I get in the shade Fair. But the nice thing is that they also have this LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation. So the nice thing about this is you can mix it in with any of your dark foundations and make it lighter to match your skin tone. So if there's a specific foundation that you like during the summer months, you can still use it. Just add some of that white foundation to it and it will make your foundation lighter. So I just mixed some on the back of my hand and I think that that should be a pretty good, pretty good match. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe M439. I normally use a beauty blender. I like the finish of it on my skin. My skin looks really dewy when I use it. I don't normally use a brush, but I have seen a lot of people rave about this brush specifically. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and see how I like it. So far, I'm not sure how much I'm liking it. I'm looking at it in the mirror and I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the brush. But I can definitely see some of my dry spots showing up a little bit more. Again, I don't know if it's the foundation just clinging to my dry spots or if it's because I'm using a brush. So I can definitely see some patchiness on my nose. You can see some redness right there. Again, I don't know if it's because of the brush. I don't know if it's the foundation just not clinging to my nose the way it should be. I think that I might have to try this brush again with a foundation that I know works really well for me. And then for concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Shape... My Maybelline Shape Tape. My Maybelline and my Shape Tape. I don't like using the Shape Tape for all of my concealer just because I do feel like it is a bit drying for my skin. But I do like that it adds the brightness that I want. For some reason, the Maybelline Fit Me isn't as light as I would like it to, even though it is in fair. Again, I don't know what it is with these fair shades not being fair. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply the Maybelline underneath my eyes. And then for the shape tape, I'm going to use it to highlight. So when I highlight my face, you want to highlight it to the middle part of your face. If you're going to highlight under your eyes, you probably want to highlight your forehead and your nose and your chin and cupid's bow and with this because it is really thick uh, i just add a couple dots right underneath my eyes and then i am using my beauty blender for this just because i feel like using a dampened sponge for your concealer works a whole lot better than an actual brush and I also like to bring this up on my eyelid to kind of act as a primer for my eyeshadow. And again, with the Beauty Blender, don't drag when you're applying your foundation or concealer or whatever it is. You want to dab it. You want to push it into the skin. If you drag it, it's just going to move that foundation around. Then to set my under eyes, I'm going to use the NYX Banana Powder. So I'm just using a bigger foundation brush, and I'm just going to push that underneath my eyes. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I recently purchased this not too long ago, and I've been using it for a couple weeks now. I do like it. I was using the RCMA powder for a while, and 
It wasn't my favorite. I know that a lot of people like it, but it really creased. It settled into my fine lines underneath my eyes and it just looked cakey and I just, I didn't like it very much. So with the Too Faced powder, I just take it and I'm using a Morphe E2 brush. I just took some in the lid and then I'm just putting it in there and then I'm just gonna dab it on my chin wherever I don't want my foundation or concealer to move. So there are a couple different eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using today for the first time. I know they're not, well the first one I'm gonna show you isn't necessarily new. It has been out for a while, but it's new to me and it is the Nubian by Juvius. It's this palette right here. I think it's gorgeous. I believe it was about $28. So here are the colors in there. It's definitely my kind of palette because there are a lot of neutral shades. The first shade that I'm going to use is this shade right here on a Morphe M535. Just dabbing it in there and then tapping off the excess. And then just going in with circular and windshield wiper motions. I'm just going to put it in that crease and that transition area. And then on a more defined pointed brush. I'm using a Morphe E22 and I'm going to take that shade right there and focus this more in the crease. And the trick to doing this is just blending. As long as you're blending out your eyeshadow, any harsh lines, you can really make any look that you're doing look good. And then using this M441 brush, I'm going to pick up this shade right here and focus that in my outer corner. And then grabbing the M535, I'm just going to take this brush and just blend out the harsh edges. I didn't add any more product to this brush, I'm just using it to blend it out. And then for just my eyelid, I'm going to use the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. This is in the shade Rose Gold Retro. I haven't used this either, and I do know that this is a newer product, so I'm excited to see how this looks on the lids. So it just comes in a little doe foot like applicator almost like a lipstick or a lip gloss so i am going to take this and focus it on mostly the inner half of my eye so i did end up taking that steel eyeshadow and placing it all over my lids just because when i was blending it out with the other brush it was getting glitter onto the outside of my lids so I figured I might as well just put it all over my lids so I didn't have to try to fix it and I do really like the way it looks the one thing that I would say is that when you do take a brush to blending out the harsh lines it does create glitter fallout so maybe I would try next time is using my finger instead of a brush and see if that can prevent the fallout from happening next time. But I am going to go ahead and take this Morphe E18. I'm going to take the same shades that I used on the top part of my lid and put them in my bottom lash line in the same order that I used them on my eyelid. So first I'm going to take this shade right here, top off the excess. I'm just going to run it on my lash line. And then I'm going to take this shade right here. And then using this flat brush from Morphe, I'm going to use the M432. And I'm going to take this dark brown shade. I'm going to dab it as close to the bottom lash line as I can, stopping about halfway. I'm going to go back in with this shade right here and on this brush and I'm just going to blend out that harsh line. And you want to make sure that it connects to the shadow on the upper lid. And then for eyeliner, I'm going in with my Physician's Formula eyeliner. 
And I'm just going to do a line as close to the upper lashes as I can get. I am now going to go in with my brows. I'm going to use the Benefit Cabrow. And this is in the shade 4. in place I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and this is basically like a hairspray for your eyebrows so it's going to set them in place and make sure that they don't move all day long so I'm gonna go in and use some mascara on my eyelashes but because I am using some fake lashes I'm not going to use as much as I normally would if I wasn't using lashes. Taking these Ardell Accent Lashes in 315. Alright, lashes are on and I'm going to apply a little bit more eyeliner just to hide the band on the lashes. I got a little sample of the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. I'm going to take this Lexi 512 small contouring brush. And for bronzer, as always, I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm using a Morphe E1. Start back towards my ears and then I work my way forward and up. And then for highlight, I just got this in the mail and I haven't used it yet, but I hear, hear great things. This is the Mary Luminizer from the Balm and it just looks like this. So I'm going to use this Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush. And I'm also going to use this highlight to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to use it to highlight my brow bone. And then for blush, I'm using this Tarte Blush in Party. And then last for lips, I got the Aquarius set that Colourpop just came out with for Kathleen Light's Aquarius collection. So she just put out Aquarius in a gloss, a satin, and a matte. And I'm going to use the gloss. All right, now I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. watching this. What I think about impression products that I used today, I would say that I need to keep playing with a couple of them, especially the uh, foundation and the brush. I'm not sure whether it was the foundation or the brush that caused uh, my face to not look exactly how I like it. I can definitely see some redness showing through and some patchiness from my dry skin. So I'll go back in with that foundation a different day and use it with a beauty blender and maybe that's the reason why I'm not liking it. Maybe it's the brush or maybe the foundation just isn't for me. And the other thing that I think that I will have to play with a little bit more is the eyeshadow. I think I would definitely use this before I've put on my foundation. That way any glitter fallout isn't stuck on my face after I've put on my foundation. So. Um, other than that, I really like everything else that I used. I love the highlighter that I used, and I also really like that Juvia's Place palette. Let me know down below if you've used any of these products and how you've liked them. Also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified for my future videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!